morning, everybody. It is May 23rd, 2018, 5.59 a.m. Current temperatures, entire country is semi-mild, a little warmer in the south, and then by the Rockies and the mountains, it is a little cooler, even in higher elevations. Look at this uh, 37 degrees here we have in Arizona this morning. Uh, that is not something I want to see for a long time. Uh, we are looking at the Caribbean today. The Caribbean is heating up, guys. We have a pretty high percent chance of cyclone formation over the next five days. Uh, we are going to look at the U.S., uh, the continental U.S. first. We do have some severe watches going on in the Dakotas right now. Uh, we did have the northeast with some major storms yesterday. I was actually working in it. We had some pretty crazy downpours. That has finally moved out. You can see that little bit of the remainder of that northeast storm, or part of it at least, right over Virginia, North Carolina here, that is moving out into the Atlantic. Um, and then we have our percentage here, the SLGT. Uh, that is pretty high. Uh, no tornado warnings. Wind warnings are currently in South Dakota and Nebraska. That will be moving west to east, so we're talking about Iowa and Illinois and Indiana over the next 48 hours. We'll get this wind. Um, as we move under the Great Lakes, the tornado chances could rise, so we're going to keep an eye on that. We could also see the lightning following the current storms we have in the continental U.S. We have one moving straight over New Mexico, over North Texas, and then, of course, like I said, the Dakotas, Nebraska, moving into Minnesota and Iowa. If I back this up, we can see where it originates. It kind of comes from the Rockies. It was a system that swooped down through uh, Washington, Oregon, and then came over the central area of the U.S., Central West, and then the Central Plains. Now moving towards the Great Lakes. Now let's talk about what's going on in the Caribbean. If you could see this here, we have a 50% chance of cyclone formation in five days. Then when we look at the two-day, it's down to zero. So basically that means that they don't think it's going to form in the next 48 hours. It's going to form um, in a later period of time. It needs more time to develop. Uh, a lot of our charts are showing um, this actually developing. The uh, European model is actually showing three tropical waves in the next 10 days. We'll dig into that when we have more time later on. Uh, this thing is actually coming with spaghetti plots. It's an actual invest. We're talking 90L invest. And this thing's it looks like it's forming right around um, Cancun, Mexico, but believe it or not, it's actually down in this area. It's way south of Cuba and Cancun. Uh, this is the area to watch. We have that higher percentage, but the 6 to 8 is right in this area here. You move all the way down towards uh, Nicaragua um, in areas of that nature, and you can also see here in the Pacific there is an area to watch. So we could have two areas to watch at the same time. Um, again, this is a 0 to 48 hour. Uh, this is the area to watch. They're pretty much saying zero chance, but then once we get farther into the week, or later into the week rather, that's when the chances rise. So we're going to look at this on a few different charts. We can see the low pressure popping up here on the European model. Uh, when we back this up, it's showing that the form, the formations are on the 25th, so about two days we're going to start seeing formation. Um, when that 48-hour chart says zero, that means it won't form in that time. It's going to begin to form, if that makes sense. So basically they're saying 0% chance of it being a tropical storm or tropical depression in 48 hours, but after 48 hours those chances rise. So once we get into the 26th, we can see that anomaly there in the Gulf. Um, again, every chart is picking this up. Some charts stronger than others. Uh, currently, it's showing it moving right up through Louisiana. But again, we do have different spaghetti plots that we can look at. This is uh, model track guidance. So this is the GEM model. This is just one spaghetti plot. And then here we have our normal uh, multiple plots, which we are used to seeing from last year. If you guys remember, we're going to have a line with a triangle in it. That is the current direction once we have an existing storm. Um, any of the colors, you could simply match up to here. Uh, so a lot of these models, uh, they're very different in where this thing could go, but they're all in agreement that something is coming. So Storm 90, uh, some models have this thing coming up through Cuba, and then the west coast of Florida up the east coast. Or this thing could be forming in the Gulf. It could clip Cuba. It may slow down from forming a little bit by the time it gets into the Gulf. And then we have this space here, which is um, an average of 80, 81 degrees now. So definitely potential for the formation of the cyclone. And then we it's anyone's guess at that point. So once we're five days out, uh, the percentage of the charts being correct really goes down. But the percentage of the storm forming um, is pretty reliable at this point. So this is going to be uh, pretty big news eventually. They're not going to talk about it on your local weather until it's actually a storm, but we will cover it here daily 
Um, I know I've been gone for a couple days. It happens here and there. I got some stuff to handle, but that's life. So uh, that's what we're currently dealing with, guys. Sorry about the quick update. Uh, got to get going. But really quick, we'll check out the FV3 GFS model, which actually shows this thing forming. Now, it doesn't show it turning into a full-blown hurricane, which could change it, but it is showing that low pressure coming right up through the panhandle. Um, in Alabama and Mississippi, and if you remember, some of those plots had it coming a little bit farther to the west of Louisiana. So, the models are in agreement that this thing is going to form, but as far as the path um, is still not nailed down yet, um, understandably so. We know we dealt with this last year with these these storms changing course at any given time. Um, certainties, even 100% certainties, when we dealt with Irma of Irma moving up to the east side of Florida. Uh, they evacuated the entire east coast of Florida to the west side, thinking the storm was going to go up the east coast. And then it just stayed straight, clipped Cuba, and then up, uh, went right up into Naples. So um, even the best of the best cannot figure out these storms sometimes. So all we have is this data to rely on on a daily basis. And that's how we make our forecast here. So um, as of right now, sir, we have got some flood watching in Montana and Wyoming. I feel like that's more a little bit to the east right now with North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska being in that area. Uh, we got a little bit of severe thunderstorm warnings that are in the east side of South Dakota. So um, it is picking up this exact area that we're talking about. These are current lightning strikes. This is the storm that moved off the east coast, still currently affecting uh, Virginia and North Carolina. Like we said before, we got a little bit of lightning in the Gulf. As we saw before, the Gulf is beginning to heat up. We're seeing a lot of spotty storms uh, to the north area of South America. Um, and then in the southern Caribbean alone, this area is going to be very key for the next couple of weeks at least uh, going into the summer months. And then we also need to watch the west side of Africa for those storms that roll off, follow that belt through the Leeward Islands. If you guys remember, we talked a lot about the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic because a lot of our hurricanes uh, have this long area to form before they get to the U.S. So a lot of our stronger storms come from that area. But don't let that fool you guys. We can get very, very severe hurricanes down from this area that come straight up into the Gulf or they could pass up over Cuba through the Bahamas and up the East Coast. All right, guys, hate to cut this short. It is 6.06 a.m. That is your quick update for today. Um, trying to get back this afternoon. If not, then tomorrow morning, our normal schedule. All right, guys, be safe. We'll talk about Hawaii as well. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.